Now, a lot of people don't know this about dairy. I'm going to tell you what happens in the dairy industry. Obviously, meat, it's been cut off an animal's body, suffering and death, no doubt. But in the dairy industry, we see this carton of milk, this white liquid, with this silhouette picture of this happy cow, and you don't think anything of it. But in fact, the dairy industry is at least as cruel as the meat industry. So this is what happens. First of all, for a cow to give milk, just like a human, she has to either be pregnant or have recently given birth. She has a nine month pregnancy, just like a human, and then gives birth. When she gives birth, her babies are taken from her because they can't have the babies staying around drinking all the milk that the humans want. So they separate the mothers from the babies. Now this is one of the most traumatic experiences for a mother cow in her life and they do not have a good life. She will often cry and bellow for days, returning to the same spot she last saw her babies, looking in the same direction she last saw her babies. It's traumatic. The babies, they're also obviously fried and scared, pining for their mother. And the baby boys, the waste products, are sent to the slaughterhouse. At the slaughterhouse, the babies will be shot in the head with a bolt gun. It fires a bolt through their skull into their brain, just to pierce their brain enough to stun them. And then they get their throats slit. These babies, the most cute, innocent beings on this planet, so gentle, so soft, couldn't hurt you if they tried. That's how we treat them. And we call this something humane slaughter. We call it humane. So I'll tell you the definition of humane. Humane means to show compassion. Is there a compassionate way to murder somebody? Is there a compassionate way to abuse a child? Is there a compassionate way to slit a baby animal's throat? There is no compassionate way to kill somebody who doesn't want to die. The industry, obviously so clever, so much money behind them to market these products of cruelty. It's a very clever word they use to make us feel better about our choices. The best way to figure out if something's humane or not is to ask yourself how you would feel in their situation. Would you agree that it's humane? Would you like it to happen to you or one of your family members? I definitely don't want to be humanely slaughtered. I definitely don't want that to happen to one of my family members. You imagine it like this. I've got a brother, his name is Jono. Love him. He's a legend guy. And I let him free range every day. And then one day in his sleep, boom, I shoot him. He didn't feel it, he didn't see it coming. Now that's not what happens to these animals, but let's say it was. And I go to the court and I say, relax judge, humane murder. Is he going to be like, oh, of course. Did you eat him after? Yeah, no worries, don't worry about it. No. He's going to say, there is no humane murder. What are you talking about? You have robbed him of his greatest gift. You've robbed him of his life, the most precious thing any of us will ever possess. You've robbed him of his entire future, his entire existence. That's one of the most cruel things you can do. Doesn't matter if they see it coming or not. Doesn't matter if they felt it or not. It is still so cruel. And that's what happens to these baby boys. The baby girls have the same fate as their mother, forcibly impregnated, babies taken from her, hooked up to painful milking machines that'll cause all different kinds of infections like mastitis. And then after five to seven years of being so severely exploited, they can't continue anymore and they also are sent to the slaughterhouse, humanely slaughtered. And in nature, cows can live 25, 30, sometimes even a bit older, 30 years old. So these are like children, basically, we're doing this to. Why? Why do we do all this? Why all this cruelty? Why all this deception? Why all this killing of these gentle, innocent animals? People like a piece of cheese on their sandwich. People like having a bit of cow's milk in their coffee, a bit of cow's milk on their cereal. The beauty is that we have alternatives to cow's milk. 
We're not baby cows. We've got soy milk, rice milk, almond milk, coconut milk, hazelnut milk. This is how easy it almost always is to be vegan. You go to the supermarket, the one you always shop at, and you're about to get the cow's milk, and then you go, oh, I'm vegan now. And then you just do this. <laughs> and you just get the different milk, soy, rice, lamb. That's it. So easy, man. So easy. Even if you didn't have it, cheese is not oxygen. We can live without it. We don't need it. There's literally thousands and thousands of different foods we can eat without all that cruelty. 